The new year brings a cross-country move for five-time Olympic gold medalist Missy Franklin. She is now a Georgia Bulldog and says she's never felt more welcome. Hers is a story that shows that elite sport comes with the ultimate contrast between unprecedented achievement and painful disappointments. Missy has faced those situations with the same faith and optimism she now brings to Athens. Beginnings. They happen many times over in life, sometimes by circumstances we cannot control, sometimes by choice or both. I love the people, I love the school. This is the backdrop of a new beginning for five-time Olympic gold medalist Missy Franklin. I never really thought I'd get this big of a new start at this point in my life. A new student and athlete at the University of Georgia. I truly could not be more grateful to have my new start here. Missy will tell you the past year has brought more challenge, change and struggle than she thought she could handle. She'll also tell you she's grateful for it. Those can be some of the most influential times in our life. So I almost think we should have more, a more grateful attitude to the hard things than we should for, for the good things because all of it is meant to be and all of it shapes us into who we're supposed to become. She has enjoyed circumstances when everything went her way. A storybook start to her Olympic career. How are you? A high school student who went to the London Games and was unstoppable. The most decorated female athlete at those Olympics. I can't believe it's happening right now. She passed over lucrative contracts to compete at the University of California, Berkeley, and won an NCAA national championship. It was the fairy tale ending. It really feels like it was written in the stars. Shortly after, we were with her in New York when she announced she was launching her professional career before the Rio Olympics. Rio brought circumstances where nothing went right beyond disappointing swims and baffling at the time. It's hard. Um, I don't really know. She has since had double shoulder surgery to repair damage. My bilateral shoulder surgery was a doozy, for sure. And the phenom known for her smile and endless optimism has had to overcome some very dark times. I think it's important to recognize that and to be vulnerable and to show people, like, this is real, this is life. But that only helps you come out that much stronger at the end. All of those circumstances have led Missy Franklin to this choice, to be in Georgia with a new coach. He said, Miss, like, I'm not just here to make you a great swimmer, I'm here to make you the best you've ever been. Missy truly believes the best is still to come. And that just gets me so excited and gives me so much to look forward to. She is working towards the 2020 Olympics. UGA was one of her top picks when she was first choosing a college, and she says she knows she is where she needs to be at this point in her career and really excited to be working with Coach Jack Bowerly there. Pretty amazing. What a great story that is. You, you know, you forget that she was at Regis High School in Denver, just yeah. a kid, yeah. when she had all that success in London. Yeah. And she, I think everybody wondered what happened in Rio. She was injured in a way she didn't even know. Mm. That shoulder surgery was really necessary and she'd had some back injury too. But she wow. came home to find out what was going on and, and had surgery as a result and has really climbed her way back from that point and says she's learned so much. She's got a different kind of um, depth and maturity that she, as, as she's gotten older. She's just 22 oh, and she's had so amazing. much life experience and really uh, going to be exciting to see what happens next. And I'm so excited for the state of Georgia to get to cheer her on. I've known her since she was 10. Wow. And the one thing I'll tell you is she's had the same humility, down-to-earth character and kindness since then. She didn't lose it through her highest highs or her lowest lows. An extraordinary athlete. Yeah. And it will be very exciting to see her in her journey toward 2020. Yeah, go dogs. Ah, go dogs. <laughs>